Hello YouTube, this is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. If this is your first time visiting my channel, I would like to welcome you. And if you are a return viewer, thank you for coming back again. I am out in the garden. I have uh, a few uh, chores that I want to do. I want to show you all the garden, how it looks out there, um, what my sister and I have done. And um, I just need to do some weed eating and um, need to put some, put, tack down some staples and put some shade cloth on. So just doing a few things around in the garden. I hope that you all have time to hang out with me today as I do my garden chores. I'm going to get to it, so I'll be right back. So this is uh, the area where all uh, the grow bags are. I have broccoli, I have chives, thyme here, and uh, rosemary there, and sage and oregano on the other side. And so I'm going to uh, take these uh, PVC pipes, I'm going to crisscross them, and then I will... Um, I think I want to put uh, shade cloth over them because um, it is uh, it's getting really we're having some really hot days and I feel like uh, these need shade uh, next week is gonna cool down but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just do this now so when uh, it warms up again they will be shaded Okay, so that's how I'm going to leave that. And um, I'm going to get my shade cloth and uh, throw it over this. This one is a pretty big one. What I'm going to try and do is... Uh, I think I'm going to bring these out, bring this kale in here. So that's how I'm going to leave that. This one I think is a 70% shade um, shade cloth. So that's pretty dark. Not a lot of sun is going to get through that. So that's how I'm going to leave it. I'm going to do these other beds so I'll be right back. So I kind of thought about uh, crisscrossing these. These are just so tall, they almost need cutting. 
but um, I may just leave it like this and uh, put my shade cloth over this. I think I'm going to stick some onions down in this bed to grow with these brassicas. These are collard greens. And uh, I'm going to stick uh, some onions. I went to Walmart. Well, I went to Walmart yesterday, but these onions I got from Lowe's because I had planted out all of the onions that I had started from seed and so I just uh, I had planted them all out in the big garden so I'm going to plant onions in here to grow with these brassicas. So I'm going to put some bone meal down in here. This column here, th these are vates and these are Georgia collards. My goodness, getting an amber alert. Okay, so these are about dried up. But I'm going to see how they'll do.
Okay. So that is that. So this one has all our cabbage and a few of the red onions. A lot of mesh in here. This bed after this season we're taking it out because it's rusted so bad inside and it's starting to rust on the outside so we'll probably replace it with a Vajega bed this was our first metal bed we put it in in 2021 um, and um, it's just rusted. I don't know if you can see it right along, all along there is rusted. And then that bar, that bar that's right there is rusted. And then down right here is starting to rust on the outside. So, I mean, it's just rusted all inside of it. And we'll just replace it with the, the Jacob bed. And I'll do that. Pretty soon, well, after we, after these cabbages grow and we harvest them, this bed will come out. This shade cloth may help with the white moth. I don't know if it's going to help that one over there because that one didn't really fit all the way on it. I don't know if um, I've ever mentioned it. Um, I have a bunch of these clips. I got these from uh, Timu. And they're okay. They don't have much grip. They slide. They let things. <laughs> Anything that's bigger than that is not going to grab it that well. These are pretty good, even on PVC. It, it'll grab it and hold it on PVC really good if you're gonna double up something on PVC it's not gonna work that well but one wrapping around of whatever cloth on PVC these will work got these on Amazon I, I like these but when it comes to these little metal beds and you're gonna clip 
some cloth some, or some kind, plastic or whatever, to the metal bed. These paper clips, they're the best for that. That's a paper clip. They will grab that metal and hold on to it. I don't care <laughs> uh, whatever wind that comes through. They are going to grab it and hold that cloth to it. They have a tight grip. And uh, so if you're wondering, you know, I don't know what these cost now. Um, they may be cheaper than these. I don't know. I have no idea. But I got a whole bunch of these already. And um, they work well. So if you have a bunch of these metal beds and you're going to need to uh, put some cloth of some kind or plastic or something over them and you need to clamp to that bed, that metal bed, these paper clips is your best bet. Get you some. So that's how I'm gonna leave that one. So um, I'm just gonna move on out to the big garden. So I'll be right back. Okay, you all. So <laughs> I told you that my sister and I had been busy out here, and as you can see, we have put uh, wee barrier fabric down everywhere we are not done but uh, we got over here that we need to put some down and then through down that walkway there and then right there between those beds we need to come across here with it but it is all in basically now so this is how it looks and it looks so much better and we're hoping that we get this it'll stay <laughs> uh, give us at least a couple seasons I mean, we may have to go back over this again next year, but uh, for now, this is what we're doing. So we have it over there. That's the melon mound all across there. And then it just seems like it gives us more room. I don't know. Maybe because it was so much cardboard down and all jumbled up and in piles everywhere. I don't know. In this bed, this is the bed that I have been fighting with the ants in it. And we ended up, uh, the ants were gone, and so we ended up planting green beans. We like the Bush Roma 2 green beans, so we have planted them in here. We have onions over here on this side. Um, I did not use my ammonium sulfate over here, but uh, put these in with bone meal. And um, these are onions that we got from Lowe's. I think they are Georgia Sweet short day onions and um, 
got two rows of onions here and then all the rest of this are green beans they just they just didn't come up yet today is uh, Tuesday April 16th and we did this Saturday and so that's how that's looking this bed here is full of ants and this is where my peppers and okra is gonna grow and I am trying my best to get these ants out of here so they can grow in here <laughs> this bed here fighting with ants in it too and uh, Saturday they were right here and they may be gone from here I don't know yeah they're gone from here then yesterday when we came out to work put this weed barrier down they were up here up there so I have put a lot of um, diatomaceous earth over that and um, we'll see if they will be okay to or be gone so that I can get my tomatoes and my peppers and everything planted because in this bed uh, uh, I'm going to place plant all my paste tomatoes my San Marzano and my orange icicle uh, paste tomatoes out here and uh, those will be the tomatoes I make my paste my uh, tomato sauce and um, and um, pasta sauces So I have um, all these pots. These is what these are what onions were growing in, and then I just got all these pots and planters that um, I need to wash. And um, some of you may have been with me last year, but. Um, uh, I use, I wash my all my pots. I usually do it at the end of the season. But I'm going to try to stay on top of it so it don't be so much at one time. I use this uh, Ecos um, dish mate, hyperallergenic dish mate. And um, it's, a dish, it's a dish soap. So I got that from Amazon. It was a two pack. And I um, got this dish pan and I got this brush and I'm going to run me some water and um, I'm going to wash some dishes. I don't have my sink attached to this but this has a sink. A faucet. Yeah, this has a faucet that goes to it and uh, I don't have it put on here yet. I got these. These actually have been sitting out here all winter.
take these and put them in the greenhouse. Okay, YouTube, so that's all that I'm going to do today. Um, I've just been doing some chores around in the garden. I uh, showed you how the garden looks. Uh, my sister and I have put down the weed barrier and um, it looks good and we are pleased. We still have uh, a few more strips, a few more places that we want to put some down. But um, we basically got the bulk of it done and what we want it to do. So that's all I'm going to do today. And um, I hope that you all like the video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you have not already, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified each time I upload content. So you all please stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.